Okay, I'm back with another pinup system video, and this one's basically going to be kind of talking more about what's going on behind the scenes with uh, the various different programs and uh, folders that uh, the pinup system uses, because you've got pinup player and you've got pinup popper, the new front end, you know, all running from here. So maybe, you know, it'd be a good idea for you guys to have an understanding of what's going on so that, you know, uh, you'll kind of understand what you're looking at if you go digging around for some reason. So... Okay, uh, big breath here. Been a long night. <laughs> so, uh, in your pinup system folder, you're gonna find all the files for pinup player and pinup popper in here, uh, all in here. So most of these you guys aren't gonna touch. Quite frankly, a lot of them are for testing or for creating pup packs or other things. So uh, all of these down here, you guys are not touching at all. Now. This pinup player install batch file, you'll only ever use that if for some reason you're gonna move your pinup system folder to a different location without reinstalling it. That's up to you. If you guys uh, you know, do that for whatever reason, then you'll have to rerun this as administrator. Uh, where are we here? Well, whatever, you'll, yeah, you'll run it as administrator and uh, then uh, follow instructions if you move your pinup system to a different location after you've installed it. So that's the only reason why you should ever run that file. Now this uh, pinup player config displays, that's where you want to change up your pinup player screens uh, for whatever reason. If you set them up by default, you shouldn't ever have to touch this, to be honest. Uh, once you're good to go, you shouldn't ever have to come back here. Uh, and your pinup player I and I file, uh, that's, you know, that's all the settings from pinup player uh, of the program I just showed you there. Uh, the pinup player exe, you never ever run that yourself. That runs automatically, so you guys don't ever double click or run that. The pinup pup pack editor, that is where you can create or edit pup packs for pinup player. Pup packs are basically the collection of uh, folders and uh, play uh, folders with videos or media and playlists, so that it can use them to play interactive videos during your games. Uh, and in the case of Pin Up Popper, it uses it for uh, browsing your media and showing media when you launch tables and other things and all that. So, you know, that's what this is all for. Uh, so unless you're, you're into editing things uh, for pup packs, you really shouldn't uh, be in here uh, at all unless you're doing that stuff. Uh, or unless you need to change it for Pin Up Popper for some reason, but you really shouldn't have to be changing anything in there after you're all set up. Uh, obviously the pinup menu setup program, you know, uh, for, uh, that's uh, pinup poppers configuration program. Pinup menu, well, that's pinup popper. Clear as day, you know. Uh, pinup display, you're not gonna double click or run that. Again, that's automatically run. Pinup capture, that's used if you're gonna create uh, pup, uh, pup capture files uh, for use in pup, ca uh, pup packs. Uh, basically, it's uh, going to record DMD images, and then you can use those images in a pup pack to trigger videos. And I showed that in another video, so we don't need to get heavy into that. And Force Focus, that's a program that's run uh, by a pup pack once a table initiates a pup pack. So when a table loads up, and it, it get, gets started, and then a pinup player kicks in, and the pup pack uh, comes on, then the pup pack can say, hey, Force Focus, tell this program like Visual Pinball to stay in focus and be the, the window up front for however many seconds uh, it was configured for. So you guys, again, don't need to be uh, clicking or running that. And the other thing I'm going to point out is do not run any, any program in this whole folder as administrator. Do not set any to run as administrator. Things will not necessarily work correctly. The only one you should be doing that with, though, however, is the pinup menu exe or, in other words, pinup popper. Because since Pinup Popper uses external programs for launching things and closing things, uh, Windows may not let those run correctly depending on how your system is set up. So the only way to get around that is to run this as administrator. Now, again, you may not have that issue, but I, I, by default, I try running it as administrator just to be sure. And I forgot to mention this in my setup videos, uh, so I'm mentioning it here now. Uh, so again, nothing in administrator except for pinup menu, at least at this time. 
Uh, everyone's uh, setup is different, and that's the only safe option to do. So uh, for the video or the folders, you have your recordings folder. That's where uh, when uh, Popper records uh, display media from it within the front end, it saves it into this folder here and does the converting and then copies it over uh, to where it needs to go. And these are all the scripts and everything it, it runs from there. So uh, you guys don't need to be going in there to mess around with stuff. Uh, pup videos, that's where all your pup packs will go. So if you download a pup pack from uh, VPinball, uh, you'll, you'll uh, copy the, the pup pack into here and then you should be good to go actually for that. Uh, pup capture and pup auto capture, those are uh, folders used for pinup capture for when it saves files. Again, unless you're using that, you have nothing to do, uh, to do with that. Pup backup, that is where your database file will get backed up to. And your database file for uh, pinup popper specifically is this one right here, pupdatabase.db. That is where everything gets saved, guys. Your settings, your games database, everything is saved to that file. So do not screw it up and mess with that file. And make sure you go into your setup, popper setup, and backup database regularly. You can do it as many times as you want, and that goes into here. And you can see there's small files. So that way, if you make a change to anything, back up first, then make your changes. If you screw up, you could then go back and uh, put your original uh, database file back. Uh, so the pop media, that is where Pinup Popper's media by default is located. You don't have to have it in there, but by default, that's what we have. And this one here, default, that's gonna be for, you know, Pinup Popper's browsing default media that isn't system specific. All these other ones are ones we set up for you, but you can do whatever you want, wherever you want. So you can have any of these relocated onto a different drive and it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be in the same folder as uh, your, where your uh, pinup uh, system is. So that's up to you guys. You can configure that uh, in your menu setup for your uh, emulators down here for each one and uh, for your default media directory. So that's up to you guys what you want to do with that. Uh, the media packs. So that's basically if you want to create, basically go to any game in uh, the media manager and you right click on it and you choose create a media pack it'll take all the media that you have and gather it into one zip file automatically and rename them in a way so that pinup popper will know what they are and you can see here uh they're they're named a specific way so that way you could then re-import this file into another installation of pinup popper so if you wanted to share this with a buddy or something like that uh, then they'll automatically have everything they need for all the various different screens and everything else, your audio, and it will automatically import them and rename them to match his setup on his cabinet. And it'll rename everything appropriately. It's an awesome feature. So you'll find all those files in there when it creates them. This launch folder, basically everything that launches or closes Pinup Popper uh, is operated from this folder. So when you launch a program, it's going to run all the, the script commands from this batch file here. And in that batch file, we'll almost always be using VPX starter to uh, launch your program and to control when pinup popper will be sort of uh, hidden out of the way once your game is up and running. Uh, so then when you exit emulator, you hit your exit emulator key, that will then run this batch file here, which is going to basically any commands you have in that script portion for that emulator will then run the pop closer program to close out your emulator and whatever other settings you set up in there. And uh, the helpers text file, that's basically, uh, you know, just stuff we put in there that help you guys out to understand uh, some of the examples to use uh, when launching or closing files. And that's it for uh, the pinup system folder files. Uh, now, as far as Pinup Player, not Pinup Popper, but Pinup Player, it installs uh, a couple things uh, to do with a B2S server and DMDX. As far as B2S server, it's going to install a driver for Pinup Player in your uh, plugins folder right here. So your Visual Pinball Table plugins folder, that's where you'll find the driver for that, if you chose to install that. 
if you chose just to install uh, the popper front end, then you're not going to have that there, and uh, you won't get the pinup player functions from that. Uh, for for specifically for uh, interactive back glasses for uh, visual pinball tables or FX3 or whatever else. Uh, now the other thing it installs, and this is the big one, is the DMD X files that are updated to work with Pop Capture. This is the big one that you know kind of uh, gets a lot of people going. So if you're a real DMD pin to DMD user, uh, you're gonna have this specific file, DMD device DLL file, as uh, Lucky's version of this file that works with pin to DMD. If you install pinup system, what happens is it will install all the new files for DMDX that it requires, and it will back up your original DMD device file into this pup backup folder. And you can see they're all in here. So all your files that you had originally for a DMD device, they're all copied into there. All right, those are the main ones there. Now, again, we told you to have DMD X 1.6 installed. So what Pinup System does is it updates it with a newer DMD X EXE and its own, it basically installs all these files is what it does. <laughs> it needs all of these here, all right? And this file has been updated to work with Pinup Capture or with uh, Pinup Player. Uh, this is specifically for Pup Capture. These files here. This is where you'll configure your DMD device INI, and then this DLL is Freezy's DML, uh, DLL uh, for DMDX 1.6 specifically that has been modified to work with Pinup Player. So I hope you guys understand that. And then this INI file is where you'll configure all the stuff to work with either your virtual DMD or your real DMD in, in uh, Visual pin, uh, Pinball X or, or pin name. You'll, you'll configure that in here, uh, your size, position, and all that for a virtual DMD, or you'll disable that portion if you have a real DMD. The only thing that Pinup Player needs is this portion here, okay? Is this, this spot down here, that's the only thing that's different and unique just for Pinup Player. Uh, the rest is pretty much the same uh, standard stuff that you would configure normally. So, yeah, so that that's for that stuff controls uh, pin name and uh, the pup capture for that. Now, for Pinball FX2 and FX3, it actually uses DMDX, the program, and that has to be launched from uh, a front end like Pinup Popper, which will then you know use this program with specific variables for pinup player and we already put some in there in a uh, pinup poppers uh, setup already for you guys to try to use if you're using uh, FX3 and I'll just show you real quick by default we have that uh, setup for you guys in here so all you got to do is take out the RAM statement here and then modify because uh, a RAM statement will basically mean all RAM does me all that means is ignore everything after that so if you take out the, that RAM statement, and now we have the DMDX file being run specifically for Pinball FX3, you'll change this up for whatever you guys need for your setup, for your settings. The only thing that's unique is this last part here, slash zero pinup and game name. That is used by Pinup Player for FX3's pup capture feature. That's the only thing that's different. And if you need more info on this stuff, you can open the examples and get more information so that you'll understand what these programs are doing, how to configure them, how to run them, you know, for uh, your batch files, your script, and everything else. So, uh, yeah, uh, again, that, that's, that's another video all by itself just for this stuff. Uh, so that's, that's it. That's uh, all the behind-the-scenes stuff I really wanted to get into. I know it seems like it's a lot, but, I mean, it's, it's a complex program. There's a lot of stuff it's doing. You know, so uh, I hope this is helpful to you guys, uh, you know, so uh, it's good to study up on this and uh, again, watch for more videos and uh, I'll see you basically in the next one. Later.